Facebook has endured a lot of backlash in the past few years due to the manipulation of the app and the role it may have played in Brexit's passing and America's presidential election. With the tech company's involvement with Cambridge Analytica, the cat is officially out of the bag. What do Facebook's privacy infractions mean to you? Has your information been breached? Is Facebook safe any longer or was it ever? To answer these questions and others concerning Facebook selling personal information to Cambridge Analytica, I interviewed leading privacy advocate and CEO of me, Mark Weinstein. Is there any way to use Facebook without giving up all your data? There is no way to use FB without giving up all your data. People forget or don't understand that Facebook is a data company and that is their true business. So even the facade of privacy settings on FB have absolutely nothing to do with their ability to spy on you and track everything you and your friends do. Facebook creates a data packet on you that may include 2,000 points of information. And Facebook tracks their members across the web, not just at Facebook but at thousands of sites. If a person wants privacy and data ownership, then Facebook is the wrong company to use. London, England, March 20th, the London headquarters of Cambridge Analytica stands on New Oxford Street in central London on March 20th, 2018 in London, England. British authorities are seeking a court order to search the offices of the data mining and political consulting firm Cambridge Analytica. The company allegedly used the information of 50 million Facebook users in order to influence the 2016 U.S. presidential election. Photo by Jack Taylor, Getty Images, Image, Jack Taylor, is this Cambridge Analytica debacle a breach or hack? In the case of this Cambridge Analytica debacle, this is not a breach, not a hack, and not even an intrusion. This is Facebook being Facebook, selling data to anyone with the dollars to pay, think Russian election influence, etc. And in this case they sold personally identifiable data on 50 million members to supposed researchers, yes, this is actually a serious breach by Facebook of their privacy policy, and of course that cat is out of the box, the data has ended up in the most nefarious of hands, and now those members are the perfect manipulation target. This is downright scary. Image, AFP, what is a permanent digital record? This is the core of the Facebook data vacuum machine. These leaks of your data without your explicit permission are hard to contain because they have an immense data trove on everyone, and this data goldmine lives forever. It is your permanent digital record, imagine that every single thing you do online is captured by some algorithm and eventually ends up in a huge data packet about you. This is your digital footprint, every search, every person you connect with, all conversations, all purchases, your politics, religion, relationships, everything. A person's digital footprint will soon become the most important personal data they manage. People have been careless with their digital footprint because they didn't realize how pervasive and long-lasting the steps they've taken would become. People will want to get familiar with the phrase, permanent digital record. This is what they are adding to with their digital footprint every time they post on Facebook or search on Google, etc., because those companies watch and categorize everything you do. This will outlive you and likely in the future be discoverable by your employers, your significant others, schools, family members, friends, and more. Scary? Yes, Mark Zuckerberg, Image, Getty Images North America, what's the best defense to make sure my data stays secure at Facebook? The best defense is to immediately take yourself out of the Facebook data ecosystem. If you want true privacy then it's best to ditch Facebook. Facebook deletion is actually a very tricky process because they want your data regardless. Even when you delete your account they still serve your content that you posted previously in everyone's timeline that it was already posted. And here's something really creepy, if you delete your Facebook account they still track you across the web and they still maintain a data packet about you, what you do, who you talk to, what sites you visit, what topics you search, and much more. Regardless, the absolute best strategy is to terminate Facebook's ability to spy on you, delete your account and just move on, and get a fresh start with a privacy-centric site, like MeWe or another site that blocks all intruding algorithms and doesn't sell data or serve ads. Am I being tracked when I am just browsing the web? A. Just browsing the web is now a bizarre experience because your ISP can spy on you and sell the data on everything you are doing, sites you are visiting, conversations you are having, purchases you are making, searches you are initiating. And Facebook is notorious for tracking both members and non-members alike across thousands of sites and aggregating what they learn into your permanent digital record for sale. So, people are best to install a privacy browser like Tor, use search engines that don't track like TikTokGo, and use social media sites that have privacy by design built into their platform like we've done with Mew, with barriers keeping out snooping ISPs, Google, bots, etc.
What about GDPR? Won't that protect me and end this unwarranted collection and sale of my data? If history is the judge of how these data vacuums will behave under the auspices of GDPR, then we all should be very worried. Predictably, there will come a day when companies like Facebook and Google will have been discovered to have violated nearly every tenet of GDPR, all the while acting as though they